In the last lecture, we found out how to find the high-frequency roll-off shape of an amplifier using the open-circuit time constant method. In today's lecture, we're going to focus on the low-frequency roll-off shape, and we're going to use a method called the short-circuit time constant method, or SCTC. Here, we're going to find a low-frequency pole and I should label this correctly omega L now we're going to find a low frequency shape factor FL of s that's equal to 1 divided by 1 plus s over omega L and we're going to find that omega L is going to be similar to our OCTC, a summation of time constants, although it's going to be a little bit different for SCTC. So here, omega L is equal to the sum over I of all the individual pole frequencies that we're going to find, omega PI. This is going to be equal to the sum over I of 1 over R sub I times C sub I. So we'll find a time constant for every capacitor and sum the inverses. Now in our case, we're going to the, the C's that we're going to be looking for are usually external, although they can be internal. And they're going to be on the order of a size between nanofarads to microfarads. Sometimes they'll be a bit bigger than microfarads. Now, if you recall, for the OCTC, we were looking at capacitors that were on the order of femtofarads to picofarads. And so in that transition between picofarads and nanofarads, we might have capacitors that can behave uh, as either uh, short circuits uh, or open circuits, depending upon the frequency. And so we might need to test them in both circumstances. Now we're going to find that the analysis is similar to OCTC analysis. And that's to say that first we're going to short all large capacitors except for the one under analysis. Next, we're going to eliminate all independent sources. Of course, what this means is that we short DC voltage sources and open DC current sources. And of course, short AC voltage sources and open AC current sources. Now we open circuit all small capacitors. By small capacitors, these are those device capacitances that we analyzed in OCTC. These are the ones that are on the order of a few femtofarads to a few picofarads. Finally, we replace the capacitor being analyzed with a test voltage source and calculate the current and ultimately find the voltage over the current ratio. And now we're going to sum the inverse of all the time constants to find the pole frequency. And that is SCTC, the basic procedure. So in the next video, we're going to do an example.